It's 2016 and wireless controllers have been a thing for a long time on consoles. I use a wireless Xbox controller for a bunch of games, but what about mice? Why aren't we all using wireless mice for gaming on PC? I could just say it's because between TV input lag and cinematic frame rates, console players can't tell the difference anyway. But while that's actually part of the answer, the rest of it is actually less offensive to console gamers and possibly more interesting. Stay tuned. Be Quiet Silent Wings 3 use a smooth running six pole motor to remain silent and better cool your PC. Check them out at the link below. Back to our original question for a moment. If manufacturers have been pushing wireless technology down our throats for over oh, 10 years now, why haven't cordless mice ever really taken off outside of the office? One, since they're wireless, they're gonna need batteries, and that means they can't be all that light. A couple of popular gaming mice among competitive gamers like the Final Mouse, the Logitech G Pro, they're like 70 and 84 grams respectively. But the G900 and G403 wireless are both 107 grams. That's 20% heavier than the G403 wired version. With that said, the bodies of other respectable gaming mice like the Razer Death Adder and SteelSeries Rival are actually about the same, so wireless mice aren't in a different weight class altogether. Except for the Mamba. That is a whale at 125 grams. Two. Batteries don't just add weight, they also add inconvenience. Like wired mice never need to be charged, and while office grade wireless mice can last months on a pair of disposable batteries, wireless gaming mice, because of their higher performance hardware and higher polling rates, need to be charged several times a week. That's kind of inconvenient, I, I never do it. Though some of them have handy docks, which is a bit more convenient than plugging in a USB connector, but it's, it takes up valuable desk space that I can populate with action figures or Pop-Tarts. And on the subject of valuable, three, wireless mice are much more expensive. Like while you can get good wired gaming mice for like 20 to $30 if you don't get fancy things like RGB lighting, the G403 wireless sits at $99, with higher-end models like the G900 and Razer Mamba. They're gonna cost you around 150 bucks. And what do you get for your money? A better gaming experience? Uh, no. What you get is problem number four. More input lag. At least that used to be the case. Like, okay. So far, it sounds like this entire video is going to be one long hate session on wireless mice because I'm some kind of pretentious gaming mouse purist, but I've actually been using the G403 wireless, and this was not an easy decision. But unlike my previous attempts to go wireless, like with the Razer Ouroboros, this time I am not going back. So let's talk about why. While I don't have the scientific apparatus to validate their claims, Logitech says their wireless performance is on par or better than wired mice. And does this look like a face that would lie to you? No, but really, I haven't seen or felt anything to make me doubt that. I don't notice a delay in movement or clicks, and I've, I haven't had it disconnect. Wired mice, I'll actually have disconnect because I'll accidentally pull out the cable. And this thing, this, this works even in my apartment with like signals bouncing around everywhere from neighbors and outside of like a crowded LAN party, that's probably the worst case scenario for wireless products in general. So with no performance issues, not having to deal with a cable after so many years of using a mouse bungee or, or taping it to my desk or wrapping it around a lamp, it's just awesome. I, I love lightweight mice, but I feel like trading some weight for a more full range of motion to make flick shots without knocking sh over, it's finally worth it. And while this doesn't solve all of my wireless complaints, like I, I forget to charge my mouse constantly because I'm a bit of a scatterbrain, I haven't had it die on me yet because a full charge lasts about 25 hours of constant use and 
I can't play constantly for 25 hours. And when it gets low, it tells you to plug in. I just forget, but it still works. Okay, but I don't expect you to take my word for it entirely. Like, I'm, I'm not a filthy casual like Linus or whatever, but there's a reason why people, including myself, look to the pros and wonder, what are they using to win tournaments? And you know who just won a tournament using the G403 wireless? Cloud9's automatic. They beat SK in the ESL Pro League Finals, and he was, if you ignore the salty, salty Brazilian SK fans, he was the real MVP of the tournament. New mouse, big victory. Coincidence? Maybe. But I think the only reasonable conclusion is that wireless is the future. Okay, so with all that said, not all wireless is created equal. So for the time being, the answer is a bit more complicated. You may have noticed that this video started out as wired versus wireless and ended up mostly being about Logitech's G403 and G900. The reason for that is that I just, I can't recommend the other solutions. The G900's price might be off-putting and you might not like the ambidextrous shape and design. The G403 wireless is a cheaper, more mainstream option, but it still comes at a price and weight premium over the wired version. I still think they're worth it, but some people don't. Two options can't really kill off wired gaming mice, but they're proof that the technology is here and it's ready. Are you ready for wireless mice? Let us know in the comments below. Ting is the mobile carrier that is focused on customer service and customer satisfaction first. You can call them and speak directly to a real living person. And with Ting, you only pay for what you use. The average Ting bill is only $23 per month per device. If you're currently stuck in a contract, you can switch to Ting and they will cover 25% of your cancellation fee, up to $75. Head over to linus.ting.com today and try out their savings calculator to see what you could save. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video sucks, you know what to do. I know you know what to do, un unfortunately. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, or check out the link to where you can buy the stuff we featured at Amazon in the video description. Also linked in the description is our merch store, which has cool shirts that aren't this, but, you know, they have stuff on them. So that might be cool to you. And you can find our community forum, which you should totally join. Now that you're done doing all that stuff, you're probably wondering, what do I watch next? Click that button in the corner over here where there will probably be something for you to watch. Probably on Channel Super Fun. Yeah! Dolls? I don't know. I mean action figures. I don't play with dolls. I don't know why I said dolls. <laughs> <Let's go>. No. <laughs> Shh.